Hi all and welcome back. Um, by rights, I should really start off with an apology because I haven't actually got those videos out yet about the basic lighting and things that I was going to do. Um, one of the reasons for that is that we have changed plans for what is my studio. Um, this was an old barn that we converted about five to six years ago, something like that, and um, I did it with a view to using it for photography. And it has been great for that purpose, absolutely brilliant. Um, I've done some fabulous jobs in here and it's been great fun to have my own place and to deck it out as I saw fit, um, which has been great. However, as you can probably see behind me, there's not a great deal in here. And that's largely due to the fact that we have decided, by we I mean my wife and I, have decided that um, this building would be better served as a sort of rental or holiday let type thing. And that's what we're going to do. Um, COVID has been particularly problematic um, with my industry and my business uh, over the last couple of years. And unfortunately, you know, we think that this will be a better bet and a better use for the building and generate more income. So um, not only am I going to be a photographer, but I'm going into the hospitality trade as well. Uh, this means, of course, that I lose my studio and I've got to spend a bit of time and effort and money decking it all out and finishing off the conversion, which um, I'm hoping will be a bit of fun. I'm not looking forward to the expense, to be honest, but uh, you know, nothing ventured and nothing gained. Um, so I'm going to be doing more location work and actually, weirdly enough, location work seems to be picking up quite well after COVID. Um, the studio seems to sit here a little bit idle unless I'm doing one of my own projects. So I think this is going to be a good use for the building and generally speaking, I think um, it's the right way to go. Um, so I'm busy at the moment ripping the place apart, I'm selling lots and lots of stuff on eBay. In fact, most of it's gone. But eBay is quite tricky to sell on. There's a lot of pho photography work on there at the moment, photography, photography gear on there at the moment. Um, but most of it, yeah, has, has disappeared, which is good. I've still got a couple of Godox lights to move on, some big heavy duty stands. Um, and then this bit will be cleared out. Uh, I think work starts fairly soon, I think next month. So yeah, I've really got to get a wiggle on. Um, and then the rest of it can wait until uh, all the work's completed on this bit and uh, that'll give me time to move into the uh, downstairs room that I'm going to be using as my office stroke small studio and it is a lot smaller than this especially as it has normal ceiling height which is not great for photography. So we're going to have a look at that and see what I can come up with and try and make that work for me. Um, but yeah, meanwhile I'm busy sorting all my gear out and um, I'm not quite sure where to keep my cameras uh, and I'm not sure how I'm going to run that as well because I hate my gear being stuffed into cupboards because I can guarantee you the thing that I'm actually going to need is always miles in the back of the cupboard and I've got to pull everything out to get to that one thing so I'm going to have a look at some uh, different types of cases I think and um, see what I can come up with for that and I've got to choose which lighting I'm going to keep um, so it's not so bad with the little portable lights like I'm using now, but with um, obviously the bigger strobes and things, I don't know whether I'm gonna sell some of those or keep them. I've got quite a lot of gear really, I think. Um, probably not as much as many, but over the years you do collect it. Anyway, um, I can show you kind of what I'm going to be keeping and it might be of interest to you or maybe not, I don't know. We'll have a look anyway. Okay, well this is uh, the gear that I've decided I'm gonna pretty much be keeping from the studio. Um, I'm gonna be, say, moving on a couple of my uh, older Godox lights, but basically this is going to be a kit that compromises of a couple of SL60s for video uh, stands and uh, various accessories for those, plus an AD300 Pro and a couple of AD200s. Um, and their associated filters, snoots, etc., etc., and soft boxes as well. Got quite a few of them. Um, I can just about get it in this huge, great big bag that I bought for the purpose. But whether I'll uh, I'll stick it all in there or not, I don't know. I'm pretty certain it'll go in. Um, and of course, I've got my faithful backpack, which I use rather a lot, and that's from Peak Design. Um, that's an incredibly useful piece of kit. Um, yeah, so I've narrowed it down. Said goodbye to my uh, big stands and big background supports and are just going for these collapsible ones um, you can just see it behind the big bag there and uh, yeah I think that will probably be absolutely fine and I'll just uh, decant from this bag into a smaller bag when I need to go out on location. Right let's get packing. Yes he shoots he scores well 
I managed to get it all in pretty much, um, barring the beauty dish and a couple of reflectors. Uh, that'll look a whole lot better than um, just having it all strewn around the place. Um, of course, I'm never going to be able to find anything in there, am I? But um, it'll have to do until I can find another place to actually put the equipment. In fact, I might just set some of it up, actually. I always find that that's the best way. Uh, but there we go. So now on to my camera gear. Right. Well, um, as you can see, I have a reasonable amount of camera gear that I want to store. Um, plus, I want to go and put my most commonly used items all in the same place so I can get to them quickly um, and then decant from one big sort of bag type thing to a smaller bag with just the bits that I need. So I've been looking around for some sort of bag that would uh, or case that would be able to do that for me. Um, my first port of call was uh, Pelly cases. Um, I'm quite familiar with those because I used to have a really lovely one actually. Um, this is going back a long time ago uh, when we, well I used to work abroad with um, another photographer quite often and um, we used to regularly have a lot of gear to take with us and these things are great because they can go in the hold as well. Um, they were treated very roughly in some places and certainly I remember one time when we were in a, on a a uh, tugboat going out to this great big derrick barge from which from the derrick barge we were going to go and basically photograph a gas rig being um, created or installed um, and we had to transfer all our gear from this little tiny little tug all the way up to this huge great big derrick barge and you know they just would get all our gear and just chuck it straight into a big cargo net and winch it aboard and dump it down. Believe you me you needed something like a pelly case to um, keep your gear intact and um, yeah you just got to have them. You just simply got to have them. So I bought a really good one of those and I bought all the dividers and everything else with it. And I thought, yeah, that was brilliant. But of course, subsequently over the years, I haven't used it and I ended up selling it some time ago. But I thought I'd have a look and see whether I could purchase one of those again. And um, boy, are they expensive. I mean, really expensive. So um, yeah, I kind of thought, well, I'm not going to spend that for something that I'm basically going to use as a glorified sort of, you know, box on wheels really. Um, anyway, I came across um, this one here. This is a Vanguard. Um, this is a, I think the largest one they do. And they do this particular one, which looks very similar to the Pelly actually, I think, um, with either dividers or foam. And um, funnily enough, there was a return on Amazon for this one. And I thought, you know what? I'm prime. I can go and get one of these delivered for the following day. And if I don't like it, I can always send it back. Um, but I think this is absolutely brilliant value. Um, we'll have a close look at this in a minute, but as I say, this is really good. It's got some really good dividers. Uh, it's very, very robust. Um, I'm not sure how clever the wheels are, but uh, yeah, basically I think for value for money, this thing's amazing. I got this for 160 pounds delivered. Um, I think they retail for, I think around about 220, something like that, uh, Great British pounds. I don't know what that is in dollars, probably a lot cheaper. Um, but compared to the Pelly, I think they're a good good alternative. And the other thing I really like this is that this can be, oh, sorry, grimy. This can be lifted out like so. Um, so, and actually you can purchase just that bit. And I think that retails for around about 77 pounds. So if you're looking to store some equipment, uh, I think you could do a lot worse and get one of these things. Um, anyway, the idea is that we're gonna put all this gear in here. Uh, so, hmm, we'll have to see how that goes. You ready there, Crumb? Let's have a crack at it, shall we? Okay, well, um, there is an awful lot of gear in that case. I think they're really, really useful. Uh, they come in five sizes, apparently. Um, you can have either the foam or the dividers, but I strongly suggest you get the dividers. They are, without a doubt, a much better option than the foam, um, but only a little bit more expensive. 
Um, so there we go. I hope that was enjoyable. Um, I'll let you know how things go with all the barn and the studio and things. I will be putting out some more videos. I will still be working on those ones uh, for the lighting uh, once I've sorted myself out um, and we've got a few models. Um, but I've got a few shoots coming up that we're going to be filming as well. Uh, that'll be fun um, and it's actually a bit more entertaining than just going through all the gear. I'd much rather be taking photographs. Okay, well thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, well, oh, hang on, who's you? You're not even my dog. Come on guys, I've got, I'm trying to do a video. Okay, um, well, I am trying to do a video and, <laughs> help. Right, as you probably can't see, um, 